We're all eating more and more vegetarian dishes these days. We spent the last 20 years big on meat and trying to get a bit healthier as we're getting older. I'm also a bit of a fitness instructor. So just trying to move people across to eating a healthier thing. It's not about going all vegan or all vegetarian. The dishes I cook, they feel as though they're complete dishes. So that when I'm eating a dish, I'm not sat there thinking, oh, there's no meat in this, I'm missing something. So we're basically just gonna do this eggplant lard. Um, it's a dish I picked up in Thailand when I was traveling there about 20 years ago. It's pretty simple, it's not too confusing. It's got good flavors that are all pretty well balanced. The Thais are very good at balancing their flavors between a sort of sweet, salty, and sour. And we're just gonna cook the eggplant, get a bit of color on it to start with, and then we'll pop it in the oven. I think with the washing them and salting them, I think they used to be quite bitter back in the old days. They've obviously been working on them a little bit and got the flavor mixed between different kinds of eggplants and they've got that bitterness taken out of them and that's what the salt would have done. I don't salt them anymore. So this dish basically, we roast the eggplants, we make a little um, a dressing, like an Asian style Thai dressing, um, out of soy, some sugar, um, some fish sauce and some, oh, what was that one? That one, tamarind paste. We're gonna sweat off the shallots, get a nice bit of color on those, and then we'll add the palm sugar to those, which will sweeten them up a little bit. But then we'll also add the tamarind paste, which will give it a sour, sour taste to it as well. So it's just a balance, really. I basically just use either a canola or a sunflower oil for most of my cooking. Um, olive oil sometimes, but then that just depends on what you're doing with it and the temperature you want to be cooking your stuff at. You see all these kitchens where they sit there and they're flaming their pans and there's all big flames flying up everywhere and it looks great for the camera, but uh, actually gives the food a bit of a petrol taste to it where you've just burnt the oil. So kind of try and avoid that so much. Um, I'm doing a bit of personal chefing as well for a family at the moment. The guys are vegan which has definitely been a bit of an eye-opener for me. It's not something I've, we do it in the restaurants, you'll put one or two dishes on the menu, each, each new menu, and uh, that's about as far as we've done for 20 years. But now that I'm cooking for a vegan three times a week, I've really had to up my repertoire and think a whole heap more outside the box as to what it is that I can basically be getting enough protein into him and enough of the sort of dietary requirements that they're supposed to be having. So we're gonna put a nice bit of color on these eggplants and then we're just gonna finish them off in the oven on a bit of a slow roast. I am gonna season them before they go in and I'm pretty sure that uh, that's what makes the difference between good chefs and not so good chefs is the seasoning, a bit of salt. The crisscross pattern will just be for aesthetics, but I suppose it'll also help with the cooking time. It'll make it a little bit quicker because the heat will be able to get down into the crevices a bit more, so that'll make that a bit quicker in cooking time. Um, and then the colour again just looks, I mean it looks nice, gives it a nice sort of charred look to it. If I was to pop that straight in the oven it would take a fair bit longer. <laughs> yeah, all good. It's not burning it, that's just cooking it. I mean, the fact that uh, I haven't got the extract on is going to be obviously not getting rid of all the smoke. Um, normally I would, but my extract sounds like it's a 747 about to take off. <laughs> so I'm just going to sweat off the shallots here. We'll put a little bit of color onto it, not too much, which again is just having the oil at the right sort of high temperature. So that's gonna go for a bit of a salad. We'll have shallots in that. We'll have coriander in that. We'll have some chili in that. We'll have peanuts in the salad and some uh, crispy shallots as well. 
Just a nice little rough chop on those. We've got these little Thai chilies, which are definitely going to add it a bit of a belt to the flavour. They'll be quite hot. We'll take the seeds out of those, because otherwise it'll be way too spicy. Uh, we use a lot of Thai chilies, which are or bird's eye chilies. Very, very potent, but you're just using very small amounts of it. Um, a lot of the chilies you get over here in Australia, you see the sort of long ones, the red ones and the green ones. They're really not spicy at all. They're a bit sort of almost capsicum type flavour to it. They're not spicy at all, but then obviously you can get some that are definitely up there in the spice. So I suppose with the the Thai and the Asians are all about the fresh ingredients. They've always sort of all their herbs are fresh, their chilies are fresh, lemongrass and things like that. They're all they don't really they've never I don't think they're really into sort of drying stuff out as much. Um, and it's more wet dishes, I suppose, like your chilies and stuff that would have the dried chili in there. And maybe just, I don't know, back in the day, just for transportation on the ships and stuff, the fresh produce isn't gonna last as long as if you've dried it all out and popped it into bags. So we've got two things going on here. There's obviously, like I said, we're sweating the shallots for the salad. Um, we're also gonna do a bit of a dressing, which is gonna give the eggplants their salty, sweet flavor. So uh, this is just palm sugar, which we're going to chop up nice and small. And then into that pan, we're going to add some soy sauce. We're going to add a tiny bit. This is vegan fish sauce. The chili can go in there. Stick a teaspoon of tamarind paste in this, to this one. We'll add a little bit of water to that now. Done. So again, we're putting a little bit of colour on those. And then into the dressing, we're also going to add lime juice and a touch of lemon juice as well. So like I say, it's about finding the balance between the salty, the sweet, and the sour. Just give these limes a little squeeze. My mum was a pretty good cook. We did a bit of cooking at home. Finished exams at school. Went to find the local job. Got a job in a local restaurant, just washing up. And I enjoyed it. It was... Uh, there was a camaraderie there in the kitchens. The chefs can be an unusual bunch. I've certainly met some characters over the years. But uh, there's a camaraderie there of, I don't know, going into battle and getting through the evening service, which I definitely thrive on. There's one guy, we met Raymond Blanc last year, who is an old school French chef with a very good restaurant in England. Yeah, we did a function with him last year. and It was a bit of a bit of a moment for us to not only meet this guy but to do work with him in the kitchen. It was pretty cool. I'm just going to chop up a few peanuts for this salad. In the little salad we'll have the peanuts, we'll have the coriander, we'll stick in some of these crispy onions, toss all that together. So you've got a bit of a dry salad going on there but once we stick the shallots in there then that'll sort of moisten things up a little bit. They're going to be about another 10, 15. I would have poured the dressing over the top and I'd have let that steep probably at least for a few hours, if not overnight, because then all these flavours will sit there and seep into the eggplant. You'll get that nice salty sweetness going in there. So that essentially there is the dish.